so today I want to share with you guys how to make a pom-pom. I'm going to make a pom-pom here for Kimberly's birthday hat. All you need is like a pan to trace. Um, you need some scissors. You need something round that you can trace onto a cardboard paper. I honestly just have this in hand and it's not as sturdy as you can see. It's better if it's sturdy but I can't find anything. So I'm going to use this. I'm hoping this works out. And so I'm going to go ahead and trace that on there and cut it out. And I'll show you guys the next steps right now. So you want to go ahead and make two circles. cut out your circles you're going to want to go ahead and make a circle in the inside so you're going to cut that out but to do that you're going to do like a little opening and then do that circle you do want it to be a good size so you're kind of going to go ahead and do it depending on your size of your circle so mine's not that small but not that big you could definitely use like a penny or a coin but mine will be too small if i use it because my circle is not that small so I'm going to go ahead and use this, it's just a little beat up paint container that I had just hanging around and it actually fits in perfectly to make a center circle there, it's not too big, not too small. So you don't want your gap here to be too wide because that depends on how big your pump is going to be, but you do want it a good size, you don't want it too small either. not cut like straight but kind of do like a sideways thing here and then cut up until you hit that spot right there where the line is and then you're going to go ahead and turn your paper and you're going to go ahead and start cutting all around you hit that spot right there you're going to want to go ahead and Face your paper like this way and kind of cut it there so it looks like this would you cut out kind of like a ring and then the one you're actually going to use looks kind of like this so we're going to do the same over here You have two of these and you're going to go ahead and put them together like this and you're going to kind of want to make sure that they're kind of even because they're both going to work together so mine are obviously not so I'm going to go ahead and work on that to trim it out. ahead and get your yarn now I am doing two colors so I'll be mixing both of the colors together so I'm gonna be doing these two mixture of colors so I'm gonna go ahead and just put these together and if you want to just do one color um, obviously you skip putting these together but once you have them together like this you're gonna go ahead and get ahead and get your template so it's gonna be your template here and what you're going to do is going to put it like behind it like this just like that and then you're going to go ahead and it doesn't have to be perfect just start rolling it like this like just roll it and roll it and roll it and then as you roll here the first you kind of trap that string here and here so it's just attached there just like that and try not to do it so tight because then the next step that you need to cut will be a little bit hard. Okay, so 
So once you hit to the other side on the end, you're going to want to go ahead and stop there. And then you're going to go ahead and start again. But instead of going all the way down, you're going to just keep holding your paper here. And you're going to go ahead and just keep rolling it to the other side again. Just Once you hit to this spot again, basically you just have to keep going. If you want it very, very puffy, you have to like overlap it a couple times. So I'm going to continue overlapping to make it as puffy as I can. And that's basically all you're doing. done you're gonna want to go ahead and hold your string there your yarn and then you're gonna go ahead and cut it there let's go ahead and start cutting so you're gonna go ahead and start cutting from one of the sides so I'm gonna start cutting from this side so basically the whole purpose of this is to stick your string in there to tie it and then to cut so you're gonna open up there you're gonna put your scissors between there and you're gonna go ahead and start cutting now, if it's as thick as mine, it's probably going to be hard to cut through. So just kind of try to <laughs> be patient with that. And you don't have to be perfect because at the end you're going to trim it. So it's your grip here so that all this doesn't come apart and just kind of finish cutting over here okay so once you're done cutting it's supposed to look like this and you have your grip over here so all the yarn is pretty much cut so what you have to do now is grab another piece of yarn any color is fine if you're doing multicolor and you kind of go ahead and like Turn it around like this, where it has this little gap opening here. And you're going to go ahead and string your string through that middle part of the cardboard. So like this. And then you're going to go ahead and turn it around again. And you're going to go ahead and put it in through there and tie it as tight as you can like this. So you're going to do a couple loops there to make sure it's secure. So once that's secure... You're going to go ahead and trim like the excess of that. And you're going to go ahead and take off the cardboard thing. So you're going to put those on the side. And then your pump is going to look weird if it's too big. But we're going to fix it right now. So just kind of go ahead and like, you know, just move it around. In some parts, as you can see, it's a little bit longer and some parts is shorter and it's just all over the place so we're gonna do lots of trimming here and you're gonna want to have like a little bag or something where you can have your trimming going because it's like gonna be a lot of trimming and a lot of mess and it's supposed to look like a ball basically so this obviously doesn't look like a ball so i'm gonna go ahead and fix that and what fixes that is just basically trimming it until it looks like a pom pom so I'm going to start trimming over here where it's like the longest. So. Like I said, you will have a big mess. 
of trim yarn here and let me warn you this might make your nose very itchy so try to not get too close to it or do it near your face so once that's down you'll have your pom-pom you could do a little bit of trimming but i think that's pretty much good so see how the multicolor looks super cool i did some that were just plain like just mint and then some just pink but i really wanted this one to be the three colors to match her hat but this is how it's going to look i love it so i'm gonna go ahead and attach it i don't know is it too big maybe i should trim it a little bit more all right guys so this is your finished product i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon bye